Germany required a stoppage time winner from Toni Kroos against Sweden to maintain control of their World Cup destiny and will now be looking for a less dramatic conclusion to the group stage. In South Korea, they face the only team to lose their first two games and still have a chance of qualifying for the last 16. Therefore Germany are likely to face a motivated, if not hugely talented opponent on Wednesday. After an opening defeat to Mexico, Germany were heading home from Russia when trailing Sweden at halftime on Saturday, before goals from Marco Royce and a stunning Cruz free kick kept Joachim Lowe's side's hopes of retaining the trophy alive. A champion's spirit was certainly on display, but the desperate and disjointed nature of the performance leaves question marks hanging over Lowe's team selection against South Korea. After scoring his country's first goal of the competition with a fine long-range effort in the defeat to Mexico, Sun Hyung Min will shoulder any hope South Korea have of causing an upset. Here's everything you need to know. Match details kick off time, Wednesday the 27th of June, 3 p.m. British Summer Time, 5 p.m. Local, at the Kazan Arena, Kazan. TV channel, the match will be broadcast on BBC One, with coverage from 2.45 p.m. on TV or via the BBC website. Highlights will be shown at 10.45 p.m. on the same channel. Form, South Korea LDLLL, Germany LLWLW odds, South Korea 16 over 1, draw 13 halves, Germany 1 fifth expected lineups and team news South Korea, Cho Yun Woo, Li Yang, Jang Yun Soo's Kim Young Guan, Kim Min Woo, Ju Se Dong, Young Woo Young, Moon Si and Min, Lee Jae Sung, Wang Hee Chan, Sun Young Min South Korea will be forced to cope with the absence of Captain Ki Sung Young, who has been ruled out with a calf injury. They will hope the younger and fresher legs of Young Woo Young can bring energy to the center of midfield, but there is no way he'll be able to replicate the experience Key has picked up over 104 caps. Julian Brandt impressed from the bench during Germany's 2-1 win over Sweden on June 23rd. Getty Images, Germany, Neuer, Kimmich, Hummels, Rudiger, Hector, Gundogan, Kroos, Muller, Royce, Brandt, Werner, Lomé changes ahead of the Sweden game and will be forced to do so once more. Jerome Boateng is suspended after being sent off against Sweden, while Sebastian Rudi was forced off before halftime with a broken nose. Mats Hummels is ready to return from a neck injury in place of Boateng, while Ilke Gundogan is most likely to start in place of Rudi. 22-year-old winger Julian Brandt, who was controversially included in the Germany squad ahead of Manchester City's Leroy Sane, may have earned himself a starting place ahead of Julian Draxler after impressing from the bench against Sweden. Permutations The situation is, relatively, simple for pointless South Korea, who need to beat Germany and for Mexico to defeat Sweden to have a chance of going through. In the event that both victories were by one goal, South Korea, Sweden and Germany would all be level on goal difference, at which point it would come down to goals scored, head-to-head -head results and if that doesn't do it, fair play points. If Sweden draw or win against Mexico, Germany must match or better Sweden's result to progress. However, if Germany and Sweden both win, that would result in a three-way tie on six points, which would be determined by the same measures described above. What they are saying South Korea, head coach Shin Tae Yang on previous defeat to Mexico, I think our players played a game that they will not regret. All of the players became one and until the last minute they really did their utmost. I am really grateful that they did their best until the very last moment. On facing Germany, we are now looking forward to the game against Germany. Even though we have some good players I think it's maybe the lack of experience that we need to build on in the future. That was our weak point. Germany celebrate Toni Kroos's winning goal against Sweden on June 25th. The images, Germany, forward Marco Royce on momentum from Sweden win, it was special in such an ultra-important game at the last second, when Toni Kroos knew that it was the last action in the game. Now by winning, I just hope that it might be an initial spark for the team that we can just go into the next game with self-confidence and just try to play even more liberated. 
I think that an important factor in the game against South Korea is that we simply try to play more liberated, to create chances and make the most of them. Forward Timo Werner on South Korea, of course, they do have very, very fast players. It is actually exactly the opposite of Sweden. Sweden instead plays with strength and with tall players. South Korea have smaller players, very fast players. Yes, and with Young Min Sun they have a player who has shown his class on the international stage for years now. We have to keep an eye on him in particular. But I think that we should not look so much at our opponents, and instead at ourselves. When we manage to play our game, to push our own game through, as we did against Sweden, then, we will get our chances and if we take them, then we will comfortably win the game. More on the World Cup, World Cup Golden Boot Race, in full, the leading scorers at Russia 2018 so far Germany 2-1 Sweden, 5 things, we learned as Tony Cruz salvages Germany's World Cup hopes Gary Lineker has updated his most famous quote after Germany's late win over Sweden France experienced the same frustrations as Manchester United with enigmatic Paul Pogba.